An update for you now as families in Aurora are facing an uncertain future. They're worried they might lose their homes. That's because their mobile home park will be shutting down next summer. It's right along I-225 near Children's Hospital. CBS 4's Jennifer Bryce there live right now. And Jen, those families are in a tough spot. Yeah, they really are, Jim. Many families here say that they are facing homelessness when this park closes behind me. The management tells me, though, that they have given the residents ample amount of time, about two years, before they actually shut this down. We have to be off this property by July 1st. 2018. Isabel Ross continues to get notices on her door saying the mobile home park where she lives will shut down next summer. Her mobile home, though, cannot be moved because of its age. She's been here for more than two decades. I have to move this monster of a trailer at the cost of between six and ten thousand dollars and there's no place to move it to. Moving is a problem for Petra Bennett also. She says not only have managers raised the lot rents three times in the past year, but picking up is not as easy as it sounds. I live in a modular home. Okay, I have to pay twelve and a half thousand dollars to just put my house, cut it in half, put it on trucks. The big issue is, is there is no place currently in Aurora, Westminster, Arvada, Thornton, all the way out to Bennett that is receiving any mobile homes from private people. The owners of the park tell me tenants are being given ample time, more than two years notice before they have to move. They also say they don't want to manage anymore and want to retire. Tenants say they are willing to buy the land. Through the organization 9 to 5, they've been connected with banks willing to finance the land for them, they claim. We're willing to pay up to $18 million for this piece of land so the residents can stay and not lose their homes, but he is just not willing to sell to us. I'm in a big pickle. I'm looking to be homeless. Now, the owners, I do want to mention they did not want to talk on camera to us, but we did get an opportunity to chat with them today. The tenants, they say that they are now attempting to work with city council to see if there's any help there. Live in Aurora, Jennifer Bryce, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Jen.